I decided to get rid of all my stuff and that is when I ordered a container to, well, just throw it all away. Hey hey, my name is Undine, I make videos about minimalism and mindfulness and today I'm going to talk about how I actually became a minimalist. That was actually quite a long time ago when I was 17 or 18 and initially I really preferred the kind of room that was cozy and warm and filled with things, items that reflected the personality of the one who was living there and I always wanted a room filled with plants and books and lamps and this kind of stuff. However, my childhood bedroom was not like that and it didn't seem to look like it ever would be. It was filled with art, so I had all my art on the walls. I was attending art school after school, so um, that was a big part of my life and I had that in my room, of course, but it was all quite messy and I had hundreds of books and two desks, one for my computer and one drawing desk that I never used everything was lying around on the floor and it was just so messy i couldn't really think i couldn't breathe in that room so at some point i decided i wanted to get rid of that and that was kind of a process getting there to make this decision because initially i really wanted this kind of a warm room this kind of room where all the things in there just made sense but i couldn't accomplish that so at some point i just had enough of all of it and it was kind of a really fast decision for me that I wanted to get rid of my stuff. Before making that decision, I kind of got into the whole Bauhaus thing and I was really interested in the Bauhaus architecture and interior. So this might have added to the idea that I wanted a clear and clean room. I sort of wanted empty walls and all that stuff, but I have to say Bauhaus is actually quite colorful and not all black and white if you're thinking of that right now. That was not my idea. I was just in love with the clear forms and the easy and simple design. So I was also living near Weimar during that time and there is a Bauhaus uni there. So I was pretty inspired by the whole Bauhaus thing throughout my childhood and when I was 17 and 18 I really got into this topic. However, back to my messy room. How did I do it? So first of all, I decided to get rid of all my stuff and that is when I ordered a container to, well, just throw it all away. I didn't throw everything away and most of the stuff that I put out was taken by people who were passing by. That's good for the environment, I guess. So what did I put into that container? Mostly a lot of paperwork, school stuff, homework, old folders, a little bit of old food as well. <laughs> then I had an old shelf that was pretty big. It made up almost the complete space of one wall in my room and I desperately wanted to get rid of it because it was blocking that whole wall and I really wanted an empty wall. I also had a lot of clothes that I donated. I didn't put them into the container. And I also got rid of a lot of books that I owned, but I never read them, so why keep them? All of my things were just weighing me down so heavily that I really needed to do this that fast. I have been asked why I did that and why I didn't take the time or anything, but up until today, I prefer the fast over the slow process even with mindfulness and everything because yes it might be more mindful if you take your time to say goodbye to all the things to work through it but it is also so painful and it's much less painful as i see it to rip off the band-aid and just get it over with so that was what I was doing when I was um, 17 years old and I also got rid of memorabilia like my diaries and I had a lot of diaries like I think maybe 20 diaries. I was keeping all my notes in there of crushes that I had and things that I liked. And yes, today I sometimes think that it would have been funny maybe to read them again but it it would also have been pretty awkward, I guess. And to be honest, there is nothing in there that I would want to see that I miss. It's not like I'm going back and say, what did I do when I was 12 years old? I don't really care. I prefer to live in the present moment. And that doesn't mean that I 
don't care about the future or the past, but these kinds of things that are not the things that I want to remember and that's not even the things I would write down today. So no, I don't feel sad about letting that go. After cleaning out my room, I ordered all the things in a whole new way and made it look like I wanted it to look for the first time. And that felt so liberating and I was so happy about my clean new room. I was so happy that I got rid of all the clutter and all the visual unrest. That is something that I have kept in my heart for quite a while. I need that visual calm. It makes me so happy to look at an empty wall. It makes me happy to look at the amount of things that I have and to know that there are not so many of them. And that's maybe the essence of minimalism for me that has just come from that one drastic experience and it has stayed with me until today. However, this whole memory also brings me to another question that I want to conclude with. And that is the question about whether minimalists are tidy or not. Because I think I've always been tidy in my heart, but I couldn't do it because I had so many things. And it's not that I didn't like a clean room or a tidy apartment. I just couldn't handle so many things. And maybe there are people out there who can be tidy with many things, but I just can't. It is overwhelming for me and I like to be aware of all the things that I have. For me, mindfulness and minimalism means that I can count my things in my head and that I do not constantly forget about the things that I own, that I have a, like an overview over the things that I have. It doesn't mean that I have to be aware of every single item that I own, but just to have like a general feeling of how much I own. And I never had that up until that moment when I got rid of all the things that I hadn't looked at for years and that I didn't enjoy. So if you are thinking about becoming a minimalist or getting rid of your stuff and you're just questioning this decision, you're thinking about whether or not you should let go of things, well, just ask yourself, how does it feel to own as much as you do? And why does it feel that way? If you didn't have these things, yeah, what would that do to you? What would it do if you had a totally different apartment, a totally different room, a totally different mindset? So for me, in the moment that I decided to become a minimalist, I kind of already was one. So I was a tidy person in my heart. I did adore order and clean design. So I already embraced all of that. I just couldn't do it. So maybe this is the same for you, but you're just not aware of it. And well, there's only one way to find out, right? So I really wish you all the best wherever you are in the process of becoming a minimalist or finding out more about minimalism. And I'd really like to know how you came across that topic and what was your experience with minimalism so far. So please let me know in the comments. And well, that's it. Ich weiß gar nicht, wo ich anfangen soll zu beschreiben, wie unbequem dieser Stuhl ist.